Hello, my name is Lee and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to look at how we can create a pillow in 3ds Max. So firstly, what we need to do is we need to set up our units to make sure we're using real world scale. Here you can see that I'm using centimeters. Then once you have set the units, you want to create your primitive object. Here we're going to create a, a simple box. Um, the length and width is going to be about 45 centimeters and we're going to give it a few centimeters of height. We want to make sure that our box also has enough segments because we're going to be simulating the pillow. So we want to give it some length and width segments. Here I'm going to choose maybe around 25 or so with a height segment of about 2. Next, what we want to do is we want to add the cloth modifier. And from here, we want to select the uh, box that we've just created, make sure that we enable cloth, and then we want to add some pressure. Here, I add about 50 um, in the uh, value here. Then what we can do is we want to ensure that we turn off the gravity, because if the gravity is enabled, it means that um, the pillow will inflate, but it will also fall. And we don't want that, so we just turn it off and set it here to uh, simulate. And as you can see, it adds some pressure to our pillow. Now, once we've done that, we can add a turbo smooth to our model, make sure it's nice and smooth. And we can rotate this into a, a position that's a little better for us to work with. Then what we want to do is we want to create the seam. To create the seam, we're going to simply... Um, create a loop selection and then use the extrude and we're going to extrude this inwards and what that's going to do is is going to create the seam for us we can accept this and then we can add another turbo smooth on top of um, our modified stack here and as you can see it gives us this nice um, seam going around the the edge or around the outside of the pillow now, we're going to do a little bit of setup. Um, I'm just going to create a floor. And the reason we want to create a floor is because I want to make it appear as if the pillow is sitting on the floor. So we need to create the floor here. Now, the type of floor we're going to go for is kind of like a studio type setup. And uh, this is just going to help to give us a nice render. Then we can add a turbo smooth to our floor to make things nice and smooth. And then what we want to do is we want to go to the edit poly mode and we're going to choose the option for a soft selection. Now what a soft selection will do is allow us to move a bunch of um, a bunch of vertexes at the same time, but will allow us to have a fall off. This will allow us, as you can see in the video here, allow us to move the corners of the pillow in a more natural way. And uh, all I want to do here is make it um, sit on the floor itself and then we can go around the different parts of the pillow and move it up and down based on, on the effects that we want to get. Now you can also use this technique to you know further edit the pillow here, but um, I'm not going to do that too much. But what I am going to do is I'm going to select the corners and then I'm going to use the scale tool and just scale it in. And it's going to give it a little bit more of a natural look. I can then invert the selection and take the rest of the body here and also scale this inwards just to make it not so puffy, so to speak. Give it a little bit of rotation. Um, make it look as if it's leaning back a little here. Now what we want to do is we want to add a unwrap UVW modifier onto this and we're going to unwrap this. So I'm going to double click on the seam that we created and then I'm going to choose to turn this into um, a, a seam. And then when I open up the editor, I'm going to select the first part or the, the, the front part. I'm going to right click and break it, make sure that it's actually detached. And then I'm going to use the pelt modifier and the pelt modifier is going to stretch the pillow out for us. Once the pelt mod modifier has been applied, we're then going to use the relax tools and this is going to help us to relax this into a more natural shape. Now 
You see here I do a quick pack and then what I want to do is I want to select each one again and then repack it so it fills the entire space. What this is going to do is it's going to put both of the um, UV shells here um, overlapping each other but because this is really going to be for real time rendering it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to then create a copy of my pillow and sort of push it back a little here and give the first pillow something to lean against. Um, you can see that I add a melt modifier and this is going to allow us to melt this a little bit so it looks as if it's set on the ground a little bit and then after that we're going to use the FFD modifier to select the corners of the uh, pillow and just push them down. So the next thing to do is a little bit more setup here. We're going to create our camera for our scene. I'm going to click and drag in the camera here. And then I'm going to press the C key, which will allow me to move into the camera view. And I'm just going to position the camera to the location that I want it to create the final render. Now once that's done, the last thing we need to do is to bring in the textures for our pillow. Um, I've used a Union Jack here. I've set the um, default diffuse map here using a PBR material and I'm just going to go through and create um, the other maps here so that the diffuse, the roughness and the uh, normal map. Now you can see that once I get to applying um, the normal map in just a moment um, I'm going to use that as a reference to know the scale in which I want to scale down the uh, texture. So as we can see here, um, the, the texture is too big, or the, the size, the scale of the texture is too big, so I'm just going to scale this down, and then I'm going to go back through the other uh, textures and uh, make sure that the size is the same here. We're going to create the material for the background. Um, we're just going to set this to black, and we're going to uh, increase the roughness so it's not so reflective here. Now you can see that I turn on um, uh, the V-Ray real-time rendering to give me a better idea of what's going on and what I what I figure here is that the uh, texture looks okay but I want to accentuate the where the creases are so the way to do that is inside the um, diffuse I'm going to add a, a falloff and I'm going to set the type of falloff here to Fresnel and then inside where the black swatch is, I'm going to put the um, texture back in this. And this is just going to uh, give it the appearance that there's um, sort of light on the edges of uh, our model here. And then after that, all we all have to do is simply render out the final result. And once you do that, you'll get something that looks like this. So with that being said, that is how we can um, create... A pillow. I'd like to thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye.